crutch on you? Yeah, but they call it the... What did you do with your capo there? Oh, did you stole... Oh, wait, I found one. Look, it's in my pocket. Are you sure you don't need a capo I'm now? I'm sure I don't need it. You know, I probably do, and I just don't know it. That's but that gives me the chance to come up and be on the camera. <laughs> okay, so you got this new... They still have your microphone on? They still have your microphone on, right, George? That's right, I gotta have it on. Now you got... He's got a handkerchief in his pocket. Yeah, handkerchief. Jonas, for those of you out in radio land. Well, I use that to wipe my forehead, but you know, this <laughs> new city, you're going to be touring all across America starting tomorrow. Well, um, we're going to be touring up and down the East Coast as, 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 as long as our gas card will, will let us. And we're, uh, yeah, we're leaving the next, uh, 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 next week. Next week? Yeah, that's right. Is that, is that what it says? Next week, Okay. You're going to do nine shows in seven states. All right. Over 17 days. You know, that is, of course, David Spalding Jr., and we like to think of him as a man of constant leisure. If you will, please sing along with us. He is a man of constant leisure. He's David Spalding Jr., and he's been doing research on you all, so he knows exactly how many right. states. Do you have any other comments, David? Hey, Fats, when you did uh, the Fat Man comment in World of Wonder, yes, David. you cut that in the basement. I, where yeah. is the basement? The basement? Yeah, I club the basement? No, no, no. Well, no, I didn't cut it. Actually, it might. The Fat Man Cometh and. Um, here, for those in Radio Land. That's Fats Kaplan, Kaplan speaking, by the way. That's I am Fats, Fats Kaplan, Kaplan speaking. Yeah. Hey, how about Fats? Yeah, thank you, thank you. I know for those in Radio Land, I am the man whose name does not fit his frame, as you can see. I'm about the circumference of this microphone stand that I'm speaking into. Uh, no, the uh, actually I did those two uh, the two instrumental records that I did over a period of years, and they, they both came out rec this year as a double CD uh, retrospective deluxe edition. And uh, but they were both done at actually George Bradfute's yeah. Tone, Tone Chaparral. Yes, which actually, David, is a basement. This is a basement. Yes, yes. But not the basement. Yeah, I'll give, I'll give you all a little tidbit about fats. Yeah. Through the years, there was a group called Pure Prairie League. Anybody oh, oh yeah. 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 Well, yeah! Fats played with that group. Yes, yes. Many years on the road with them and many others. Yes. That's right. <laughs> that's right. And many other Franklin residents. I yes, that's right. But you were not left on that side of the road. I yeah. Think. Now, before we move over to Fats, Fats Kaplan, yeah. we're going to go back to Thin, Paul Birch. <laughs> and Paul Birch, you all produced this album, Fevers, together. It's true. Do you all have anything to say about this? Was it exciting? Where was it at that you did it? Uh, we did it at a little studio I have in Nashville. Um, What's it called? It's called Pan American Sound. All right. Yeah. How about a try that? Uh, it's off the charts. It's unlisted. It has no phone. And um, all that's all I can say. Right? Yeah. It's, it's, but now, it's, it's, now, Pan American was, was in the name of one of your albums. It was. My very first record was called Pan American Flash. In Pan American, why the significance of Pan American? Well, you know, you're the first person who's asked me that. Um, so I'm going to think of an answer. I'm going to give you two, and you can choose which one you like. One I know what it is that I was traveling around a lot at the okay. time. It just seemed like uh, Flash is like short, you know, yeah. like Beaver. And yeah. so a lot of short stories, you know, because I was traveling a lot. And uh, there's an old song that Hank Williams used to do called the Pan American. Yeah. You know? Do you uh, remember a, a harmonica player? Oh, well, of course, DeFord Bailey, too. And yes. what was one of his big well, hits? Pan, Pan, uh, Pan American, which was and the first thing they played play on WSM. Through, and they right. used to run through Brentwood, and they had yeah. the whistle on the radio tower. That's right. WSM, they'd play that whenever it yeah. went through, I guess, a microphone. I, I know something you might not about that tower. When the original WSM tower was dismantled, it was bought by Sam Phillips of Sun Records, and his sons still have it in storage. Wow. Yeah. So there you go, you heard that exclusively on the Viva Las Vegas radio show. Live at historic Andy Hardware in beautiful downtown. Hey, you turn your mic on after that. All it's right. back on. Back in Franklin, Tennessee. Now back to our regularly scheduled well, program. Well, you know, as radio often has, that's a, that's a beautiful what they call segue. Do I need to pull your microphone down in the guitar? No, I think I'm all right. We're going to let them have the stage again. Once again, for Paul 